But whatever her name, wherever she lives, she is the wife and mother of America. Her job is to make a home, the American home. Today, it is perhaps the most important job in the world. Initially, the primary objective of women's colleges was to train women to be better wives and mothers. Why in the world do you want to take home ec? Why? Well, because that's something I'm going to need to know. And so are you. We have to learn sometime, Carol. I'm learning something about homemaking right now. Mother can teach us how to keep house and cook and sew and everything we'll need to get by on. But I don't want to just get by. If I'm going to be a homemaker the rest of my life, I want to know what I'm doing. These institutions went from emphasizing the expectation that a woman's place is in the home to the expectation that a woman's place is anywhere she wants it to be. This couldn't be, but it was. A kitchenless kitchen. I did what any normal red-blooded American woman would do. Located in the heart of the Midwest, Stevens College is the second oldest female college in the United States. While under the 35 years of leadership of President James Madison Wood, Stevens became one of the first institutions to provide women with a curriculum designed specifically to meet their needs. President Wood administered under the motto, Girls Aren't Men, Why Restrict Them to a Masculine Diet? Are you on a diet by any chance? Of course I am, and you should be too. Every morning I exercise for 10 minutes. You can start right in tomorrow. <laughs> Look, let's get this straight right now. You starve and you exercise. I eat and I watch you exercise. While other girls' schools seemed determined to be as much like men's colleges as possible, Stevens developed in precisely the opposite direction. You're different from other girls. You're smarter. You're almost like a man. In 1920, as women became more educated, their roles broadened and women's colleges evolved to prepare them for their changing domain. President Wood appointed Dr. Ware Wallace Charters as Director of Research at Stevens and assigned him to the task of building the strongest curriculum found in any women's college in the world. Almost all of the student body played golf on the college's nine-hole course or rode on the college's 36 gated horses, which were magnificently kept in a stable large enough to afford indoor riding on rainy days. Girls were encouraged to diet, exercise, and to take a daily siesta. They were also encouraged to meet boys at the nearby University of Missouri. I learned that it's a good idea to try to change yourself first if there has to be a change. Stevens girls were taught to dress and wear their hair becomingly by a groomer imported from Manhattan. Stevens College not only broke barriers in curriculum development, but also set new standards for the roles of women in society. In 1944, Stevens introduced the first aviation program for women, embodying the spirit that would drive the development of a comprehensive educational plan at Stevens College. This innovative program was introduced during World War II and enabled women to move into new dynamic roles. In a larger sense, she will see it as a magic key to greater freedom and happiness, better health, a creator of precious added time for living. After years of being ignored in classrooms or overshadowed by male students, it is often refreshing to be in an environment where women's thoughts and learning are the focus. Based on national data, studies suggest that women's colleges are better than co-educational institutions in promoting women's intellectual and social self-confidence, academic ability, and cultural awareness. After 176 years of operation, 
Stevens College has continued to grow into a national leader of women's education, breaking the boundaries and limitations which once held back the women of our society.